Welcome to Reflecting God today. This morning, wherever that you are as we start our week, I ask that you just pause for a few moments as we uh, come before the throne of grace and see what word the, uh, that God has for us today. Uh, this morning, we're going to revisit a, a text that we visited a few weeks ago, and it's found in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31, where the Bible says, whatever you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. You see, I believe the character of our food and the manner of which it is eaten has a very powerful influence on our health. Uh, and, and many of us, including myself, have never really made a determined effort to control our ep appetites or to even observe proper rules in regard to eating, right? Some eat too much at their meals and some eat between meals or whenever the temptation is presented. And, and I think there's a need of carefulness in the habits of diet that should be impressed in the minds of all. And those who obey the laws of health will give time and thought to the needs of their body and, and to the laws of digestion. And they will be rewarded by clearness of thought and strength of mind. On the other hand though, it is possible for one to spoil his Christian experience by the abuse of the stomach. Those things that derange the digestion have a benumbing influence on the finer feelings of the heart. You know, sometimes, actually, let me let me give you a little story. Last week, uh, I, I wasn't feeling well in my stomach. Uh, I, I ate a little too late after working out, and I didn't feel like doing anything the rest of the day because my stomach was so in pain. And then another day, I, I ate too much after uh, the gym, also in the morning, and, and it kind of halted my day. So I had to wait until everything was restored again. And so I realized then that the appetite is so powerful, it can free us or it can imprison us. And, and, and every habit that injures the health reacts upon the mind. That time is well spent, which is directed to the establishment and preservation of sound, physical and mental health. Firm, quiet nerves and a healthy circulation help people to follow right principles and to listen to the promptings of the conscience. I, I believe that the brain is the citadel of the being and so wrong physical habits affect our brain and prevent the attainment of the good things that God wants to give you and also it also prevents the attainment of good mental discipline. And so I believe wherever that you are, we need to be versed in the science of how to take care of our body as well as for the mind. They will not be, unless we do that, we will not be successful students of the Lord. Study is not the principal cause of breakdown. It's not too much studying that causes the breakdown of our mental powers. The main cause is what we put into our body. Uh, it, it, is, it is the lack of improper diet. It is uh, irregular meal and even a lack of physical exercise and careless inattention to other respects to the laws of health. See, when we do all that we can to preserve our health, then we can ask God in faith uh, to bless our efforts and by doing so you can reflect God's character in your life so that's how we can reflect God today